Welcome to space! Hopefully this green screen has actually worked this time. Um, so, who was the first British astronaut? Who was the first Briton to go to space? Um, those are actually two different questions, and it's going to be a little bit complicated. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's a little bit more tricky in the British sense because there's some legal stuff going on. It's a lot simpler in other countries. For example, Russia has had 117 cosmonauts, uh, and the first of which was Yuri Gagarin, who was also the first human in space. Uh, America has had around 330 astronauts, and the first one was a Alan B. Shepard in 1961, just 23 days after Yuri Gagarin. But comparatively, in Britain, We've only had seven British people go to space, but it's a little bit more complicated as to which one of them was the first, and it really depends on who you ask. So Tim Peake went up a few weeks ago, and he was the first British astronaut. Well, he was the first publicly funded Briton to go to space. Um, he was also the first Briton to live on the International Space Station. So he was kind of the first British astronaut, right? Went up in 2016, there we go, boom, case closed. Except not really. So we have seven astronauts. One of them's Tim Peake, we've talked about him, uh, so he can go relax, he's worked very hard. So we've got six left. Now two of them, uh, two, two not four, um, are not really astronauts, they're space tourists. Uh, which basically means they are just rich as anything and can just afford to go to space. Just, you know, to be able to go, ba -ba -ba, I'm going to space now. What are you, what are you doing on a holiday this year? Oh, I'm... I'm going to space. Uh, that's Richard Garriott and Mark Shuttleworth. Um, if you're a gamer, you might know who Richard Garriott is. He designed the Ultima series of games, and they're slightly less successful to build the rather. So let's get rid of both of them, because they just have way too much money and have enough stuff going on. There. So we've got four left. Now, three of them are, hold dual citizenship between America and Britain. All three of them uh, were born in Britain and went to university and school here. Um, but they all wanted to go and be astronauts. And here's the reason why we only have seven astronauts, is we don't publicly fund space travel with people inside the space things. We're big on satellites. We launched our first satellite in 1962. But we didn't get around to sending a human up there for decades after that. And that means that for ages, people who wanted to go to space had to move to America, get American citizenship, and then go and work for NASA. The most recent of these three was Nicholas Patrick, who went up in 2006. He was also uh, the first person of Scottish descent to go to space, as far as I understand it. And he was so proud of his Scottish ancestry that he requested uh, his personal item to be the Scottish flag that was flying above the Scottish Parliament to be taken to space with him, uh, which he actually was kind enough to bring back as well. Uh, and you can now see that flag in the National Museum of Scotland if you ever get to, vi to visit. Now, ten years before that, in 1996, Piers Sellers went uh, up into space. Similar British-born, went to America, became American citizen, and became an astronaut. He, threw th he flew three space shuttle missions, lots of stuff done. Cool guy. But even before that, in 1992, Michael Fole went up into space. Similar again, British moved to America. He's also the British person who has flown the most missions. He's flown six space missions. He's also spent almost a year of his life in space. He's like, I think it's like a few days short of being a year of his life in space. And up until 2008, he was actually the American astronaut with the most time logged in space. Uh, which is super cool. He was also the first Briton to perform a spacewalk as well, which is very cool. But there was one just before him, and I'm sure you can tell that this is the last one we have left. The first Briton in space was Helen Sharman. Um, Helen Sharman, she went up as part of a private mission, so she's not technically a publicly funded astronaut, but she's still the first British person in 1991 to go into space. And I love her story, because everyone else like went and like joined astronauts, right? Like trained as astronauts, did all the stuff, went and did that. Uh, she, uh, there was a radio advertisement to be the first British astronaut, and she entered it along with 13,000 other people, and she found out that she was going to be the first Briton in space on an ITV, a uh, live announcement on the weekend, which is just the most British thing in the world. After being selected, she spent 18 months training to go to space, and then finally, on the 18th of May, 1991, Helen Sharman was the first British person to go to space. She spent eight days in space, and she also visited the Mir space station, which might be behind me if my wizardry is working today. Space! 
And when she went to space, she was only 27 years old, which makes her the fifth youngest person ever to go to space and makes me kind of wonder what I'm doing with my life because I'm nowhere near becoming an astronaut and I don't have ages to go to do that. Um, and just a little bit of trivia, which I think makes Helen Sharman even cooler, is uh, she also ended up working for Mars Incorporated, the chocolate people, helping them to make more chocolatey tasting chocolate, which is just amazing. So there we have it. The first British person in space was Helen Sharman. The first publicly funded British astronaut, however, was Tim Peake. Um, so uh, hello, uh, this is Joe, back down to Earth. Um, I just realised that my camera cut out at the end when I was going to do like a nice summary thing. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this edition of uh, Astronaut Top Trumps for British Astronauts. Um, I'm hopefully going to do a couple more sort of space educational stuff in the future. Hope you liked it. Um, I will be around when I next make a video, which will hopefully be soon. That's the green screen I used. It's, I think it looked quite good. Anyway, have a good Sunday. Da 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 da. Look at all the Wikipedia I printed out. La 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 in space.